And when and how do sharp wave ripples like this normally arise in a, in a natural condition for an animal? So they cannot be triggered. They cannot be induced. They, what I call, emerge. Hmm. And they emerge at the time when the hippocampus is losing its grip from the subcortical neuromodulators. Any small amount of acetylcholine kills the ripple. Hmm. Any small amount of norepinephrine kills the ripple. It's because it, all these neuromodulators work on potassium currents and so on. They prevent synchronization. They prevent working togetherness or working together. Of the, the whole point of, of this subcortical neuromodulators is that they try to make independent uh, computations as much as possible. So if you look at an isolated hippocampus, in my previous slide, we transplanted hippocampal, embryonic hippocampus to the adult hippocampus in either isolation or, or into the hippocampus itself. And we showed that the hippocampus in isolation does nothing else, just sharp wave, nothing, sharp wave, nothing, hmm. sharp it's wave. Like a, nothing. It's like a default. It's a default. And, and that's exactly what happens in, in, um, in, um, in, in the neocortex. The default is up and down state, up and down state, up and down state. And neurons burst, pause, burst, pause, okay. they finally get... In so this is, to... why, this is why non-REM sleep looks the way it does on an EEG. In the absence of all those neuromodulators, you get this slow oscillation of up and down states. Exactly.